Hi and welcome to Visual Studio 2015 Body Max Index Tutorial developed using Visual Basic. Alright guys, let me show you guys how it works. Here you enter the the weight in kilograms. And right here, let's enter the height. Let's say the height is 1.9. There. So this guy is within the normal width number range okay supposing let's say this is about 88 yeah with his height that's very good supposing this guy it's about that it's still within the over it's overweight but it's all right well, let's say it's about that boy that's obese Okay, let's see what will happen with 1.5 meters tall. It's still obese. Third level obese. 1.6. Well, 1.6 is second level obese. So, what I'll do is to take you guys straight into Visual Studio and select Visual Basic. Then we put one of these together. We can always reset and exit. So, let's exit and put one of these together for you guys to see all right guys we start new project by clicking on new project in visual studio 2015 why that is coming up let me show you access in access I have my database in there that's the BMI table and I also have uh, the BMI table that deals with age range so I'm gonna minimize that and let's come in here now now that the the dialog box is ready we're going to select let's select windows form app application of visual studio or visual basic 2015 and give it a name bmi let's say bmi calculator just call it calculate all right now click on ok now that the form is ready let me define the size of the form let's go to the property and where it says size let's define it as 1131 by 537 and 34 right so the next thing we want to do is select we need three of those buttons two three so we have three buttons in place we also need as follows let's look for the list box we need five of those four five so we have five list box there then we need two text box right there and set the property to multi-line so our text box there okay need one more of these and change the property of that very one let's change that to auto size make that force back color make that white and border make that 3d and delete the content in there then let's give that a name we're gonna call that LBL LBL BMI and that is TXT weight TXT we can call that weight or height now let's call that height and the next one that will be txt weight there okay so the next thing we want to do is let's just might as well delete that so in here we need to now get our data grill view it's a data grill view there now once the data grill view is ready select that and go to add project data source once the, this very dialog box pops up make sure the database is selected click on next next again now let's select new connection and this pops up make sure you have microsoft access here if you don't have it just change it 
and now let's browse to wherever the database is located I have the database right on my desktop that's it the BMI database there I'm going to get rid of this admin you can always test it to make sure it works as suspected that's fine click on OK now click on OK and you get this very message box that pops up advising you to save this database in your location all right click on yes and click on next that's the database select that those are the two databases I have in there you can always select on the table and click on finish and that is that okay I need another one so the first one is taken care of so let me select the data that I want in there in here I actually want the table yep I want the table there okay so let's get another one right here and repeat that same that same process or that same procedure okay the next thing is to just speed up let's speed up the development of this interface okay okay guys this is how the interface is looking right now i just speed up the whole process so the next thing i want to do now is to double click on let's start with the exit we just need to enter the following application dot exit there done okay next one is let's take care of the reset button double click on the reset button and just enter as follows lbl dot text equals clear then the next one is txt height dot clear then txt width dot clear so that is the clear function or clear function taken care of now the next thing is we want to take care of this very check bmi because right here we have a data review and the that's for that's just to check the bmi and this to check the age and the bmi so when we double click on this one we need to enter the following first first of all let's declare the following variable right underneath here so let's say dim h as double dim w as double let's take that off or we just need this w dim t that stands for total as double there all of those are taken care of now let's come into the bmi check right there so let's go for w equals txt weight dot text and h equals txt height dot text okay so t equals weight divided by h multiplied by h that's the bmi formula is weight divided by height squared now that, that is taken care of the next thing we want to do is let's assign this value into lbl bmi.txt equals let's convert it to string as well string string dot format undo that dot format okay so we want you just want to have it into two decimal place okay so let's say zero comma f and hopefully that should give us two decimal place anyway right okay now what we want into two decimal place will be the content inside t there so if i run this program now with just this four lines of codes let's run it so that you guys see what I'm talking about right there let's check out this BMI let's go for maybe 95 and the height is maybe 1.6 okay in here is a label so we can enter anything there click in there so the BMI for this guy is actually 37.11 when you look 
look at the BMI table this guy is level 2 obese okay so let's reset and exit now let's modify it to give it some color BMI so let's say T if T is less than and equals to 24.9 then I dot back color back color equals color dot uh, let's go for sky blue there so that is that so let's just copy this and I'm just coming here and use else if if it's more than 20 let's go for maybe 29 here yeah, 29 and the color in this case maybe blue and else if let's move it up else if if it's 34 34 the color for that let's look for something maybe yellowish okay yellow green I don't know now let's check out the other one else if if it's 39 that will be red dot red okay so the next one if it's let's say more than 40 let's say dark red dot dark dark red yeah there we go those are just the lines of code. Take a good look at it. That's all there is to it. This was generated by the table that I embed into the system. And here, those are my variables that I declared. And here, we have the exit. And we have the reset bot buttons. Okay. Those are the lines of codes. From here. down here so let's run the program now there we go supposing your weight is about maybe 99 kilograms and the height is approximately 1.2 let's check out your BMI boy that is very dangerous that means you need to lose some weight you are over your beast level is over 50 something plus take a good look at it okay so you are advised to to go to the gym so let's see supposing we change it to maybe nine yeah that's not too bad supposing we change this let's change this to about 89 that's not too bad that's brilliant okay so that's how you calculate your BMI just before I leave let me show you guys the lines of codes again have a good look at it I declare the following variables the following was generated by the tables that I embedded into the system or onto the system and here those are my look of uh, those are my calculation for the BMI okay and down here that is where I change the color based on the result of your BMI and that is just an exit and right here that's just to clear the button and one more time have another look at it there I wish that can be me so with that, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial. You guys have a nice day. Bye for now.